Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to 10 security systems in Minecraft So these are some crazy and actually super simple security systems to incorporate into your house to make it safer for you And kind of protect you from I guess mobs and your friends trying to troll you and they're they're, they're pretty cool They're they're pretty awesome. So with all that being said before this video starts I just want to say that I do videos like this nearly every single day on my channel So if you're not subscribed feel free to hit that subscribe button and with that being said likes are greatly appreciated and let's go ahead and check out 10 Minecraft security systems. I present to you the key card reader lock. So you can see this one is really simple, not much redstone at all, probably would only take you 30 seconds to create. But the way it works is we have a dropper right here that will take our item and we're going to need a nether star and then we have a button to dispense the item. So you can go ahead and press this button and you can see the redstone being active. So that means it will activate whatever type of redstone device you have here. So for example, you can leave this off into like a three by three or four by four piston door or something. So once you enter your special key, it will activate it and then it'll like open the big piston door or something like that. That's, that's what I usually see these used for. It will open some type of secret passageway to another part of your map or house. So what if one day you were just walking up to your friend's house in Minecraft and TNT just flew out of the ground? A little passageway in the ground just opened up and TNT flew out of it, hit you, and killed you. How would you feel? Would you be like, what? Well, this is the hidden redstone TNT cannon, and it pretty much does that exact thing. So we're going to press this button right down here. Now, of course, you can wire this to a tripwire or a pressure plate or just a button inside your house you could wire it really anywhere but we're going to press this button right down here and it's going to launch tnt out of the ground so pretend these uh glass blocks the stained glass up here is going to be like grass or cobblestone or just the ground of your world so what happens here is you press this button and then it opens up and just shoots tnt right out of there i don't <laughs> i don't know about you guys but I have never seen something like this before, and this this uh, security system just blows my mind. We have quite a bit of redstone on this device, but these are our security bars. So the way it works is if we go down to this lever down here, we can press it, and then we can see security bars put up in front of our doors. You can use this in front of windows or any type of entrance in your house. So it's like an extra kind of security barrier to your doors. So then if we flip it off, the, I think I think when they're being put away is the coolest part because it takes away the bottom and then the pistons come back up and they retract the top part and then it completely disappears like nothing was there. So that was the security bars. If some type of intruder is trying to enter your house, just use the hidden arrows in the wall because this one always gets them. Now we have a button right here. Now this doesn't have to be a button. You can use a trip wire or any type of redstone device, but this is just a button for an example. But once you press the button, it's going to open up the wall. The wall is going to open up and display five dispensers that is going to rapidly fire arrows at your target or targets. And then of course you can turn off the trap by just pressing the button or redstone device again and it will disappear like nothing was ever there here we have a hidden wall now unfortunately on this model you can only use sand unless you find a different way to make this just because the way it works and the way sand falls but if you find out a different way to make a wall like this then of course you could use like bookshelves or a different type of block like if you use bookshelves like uh, going into like your secret layer or something like that But the way this works is really simple and easy when you use it with sand So we have this button here and we have all the redstone underneath just like pretty much all the contraptions And once we press the button it will Basically just have all the sand fall and the pistons kind of move out of the way They contract down here and all the sand is going to fall in and then we can press it again And the wall will come back up here we have a combination, an item frame combination lock. So how it works here is we have four uh, little item frames right here and four torches within them. And you have to actually point them towards the middle redstone piece. So once we point all of them towards this middle redstone piece, we should have a redstone being active. Yep, there we go. So once they are all pointed towards this middle redstone piece, um, what you can do is it will activate whatever you're trying to activate, whether it be a door 
or a trap or a chest or who knows but this is just an example purpose of course so it's just going to activate um really nothing it, do it doesn't really activate anything but you can have it activate like a secret or a hidden passageway or really whatever you choose to be activated so let's say you're just running through your friend's yard or running through your minecraft world and just having an awesome time then all of a sudden a lava pit just opens out of nowhere you didn't even expect it yeah this is what this one is it's the hidden lava pit so the way it works is we have a lever right here now of course you can wire this to something else like trip wires or pressure plates or whatever you desire or just a secret button in your house that you can press and open a giant lava pit in your front yard but yeah so you can flip this lever or activate this redstone device right here and it's going to open up this secret hidden lava pit and yeah that's about it so your victim of course can fall in here now of course you can also make this uh smaller bigger wider or whatever what i mean whatever fits your needs if you want to make it bigger then then go for it if you wanted to make it smaller then go for it honestly i would make this one or i make this i would try to make this device a little wider but um for now I, I i think it will do the job but let's see what happens when we close it so when we close it it's just going to disappear like nothing happened and even the lava is taken away I'm sure you guys have seen like the crazy action movies where the main character is trying to get through these red security systems and he can't touch the beams. Well, we have that in Minecraft and it's absolutely absurd. So the way it works is we're just going to flip on this lever right here and you can see wait for it there we go <laughs> the the red laser beams being activated these are beacons which are pretty sweet and once you walk through it it's going to activate another trap now this is just an example so we don't have another trap active but once i walk through it you can hear all the redstone being activated and that will activate like your second trap or whatever you decide to connect to this device Here we have a chest with a combination lock and you're probably like what a chest with a combination lock yeah so this is a chest with a combination lock so the way it works is it's kind of like the other one that we took a look at the uh the redstone item frame one where the or the combination item frame lock and it's pretty much the same aspect but you can actually change these you can change these on the item frame combination one and you can change them on this chest one now what i mean by change them is you don't have to make them point the redstone block so for example when the redstone block uh is activated or when they're both pointed towards the chest all your items will appear here so if i was to turn this off you can see they're all going to disappear like nothing was ever there but you can actually change this because i mean it's pretty obvious that you have to point the redstone torches towards the chest to open i just think that's pretty obvious but you can indeed change it so if you want it to open only when it looks like i don't know this for example then you could do that you could just go into the redstone configurations over here and change that for yourself if you thought the item frame combination lock was cool this one is just 10 times cooler is cooler even a word? I, I, I don't even know. But this one is pretty sweet. So it's a beacon color combination lock. So we have four different colors here. And the first three are indeed green, yellow, and red. But I'm not sure what the last one is. Now, you can imagine that trying to solve this thing from the start is impossible nearly i mean it's not impossible but it's going to take you a long time is there's hundreds and thousands uh, hundreds and thousands of different combinations so we can cycle through these here and you can see the redstone being or the redstone edits work so it, it kind of cycles through the stained glass and then once the proper stained glass is put in front of the beacon then it will uh the redstone lamp over here will be activated now of course you can tie this into something else you can tie it into a special door or a secret passageway that opens or you can just have this redstone thing activate a trap i don't know why you would make a combination lock activate a trap but hey man you do you it's minecraft you can do whatever you desire so let's flip through some of the colors here and let's see if i can get this one right now eventually we are going to get it right because i know i have the other three right but um, I, I have no idea what this one is. It's not red. It's not green. It's not purple. Is it? Oh, it's blue. Okay, so those are all 
the uh, combinations. It's green, yellow, red, and blue. Now, of course, you can change this to whatever colors uh, you want. If you want it to be all green, something more simpler, you could indeed do so. But that is the beacon color combination lock. All right, guys, so that is going to wrap up 10 secret security systems within Minecraft. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed, and I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. Now, before you guys go, I just want to say that if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, then feel free to do so, because I do videos like this nearly every single day, and I'm sure you wouldn't mind having some awesome top 10, top 20, top 50 Minecraft videos in your subscription news feed. So with all that being said, like ratings are greatly appreciated, of course, and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later in another Minecraft video. Hey!